Hello everybody. Today I thought I'd share another one of my little projects with you. The circuit for this project is another one of lit, lit motors. Lid motor. He calls it a capacitor, pulse, motor, and Maggie. This is the uh, wiring diagram for it. I hope you can see that all right. If you go to Lid Motors channel, you can find it there. Lid Motor, Capacitor, Pulse, Motor, and Maggie. He does a very good drawing of it and an explanation of how it works. This one here I put together. It's kind of my own little concoction here. Just a wooden frame, a brass shaft, a three-quarter by three-quarter uh, neominium magnet with a quarter inch hole in the center of it and it's got two quarter inch spear magnets just fastened to the side of it by mag they're magnets so they're just stuck to it there uh, two coils of radio shack wire uh, 26 gauge here and 30 gauge there and uh, a little uh, nylon bushings in here in here and on the very bottom, I have a quarter inch ball bearing that it rides on, so it turns very freely. The bushings just serve as guides. There's no uh, shaft weight on them or anything, it just guides. So it turns very nicely. And the circuit I did on a breadboard, it's just half of the breadboard right here. Pretty simple circuit. Worked out very nicely. It has a charged battery port over here that I'm just not using right now. But you can charge a, a 3 volt battery there, I believe. A couple of uh, double A's. Uh, I, made, I made these little guys. I thought you might be... <laughs> they were kind of neat. They're my little light generators. I salvaged a couple of uh, little solenoid coils. And uh, inside of each one of the coils I have a quarter inch magnet, <laughs> little spear, powerful little son of a gun, and a couple LED leads and that's all there is to it. Nothing more. And this one here, same thing, because it's only got one LED, a red one, a little quarter inch uh, neominium magnet in the center there, and it works very well. And this is one I made a while ago. This is a 30 gauge wire, an empty radio shack spool that I just wound full, and it's got a little bridge rectifier and two LEDs. The screws holding it together are stainless steel, and it works quite well too. I'll fire it up once, uh, just so you know, my power source here is a, a regulator I made. And it's coming off of my polar, my solar power backup system, 12 volts. And the regulator takes it down to about a volt, maybe a volt and a quarter. So I can run between a volt and a quarter and 12 volts with it. I'll fire her up here. And there she goes. Now I'll take this big Maggie here, set him up on the top. And away he goes. <laughs> now this one here. And away he goes. And now this one. There we go. You can see it's got quite a bit of power to run all three of these, uh, actually five LEDs is light enough. And my, it's driving, I call them little light generators, three of them. It doesn't seem to affect it at all, hardly. Anyway, I thought it was pretty neat, and I thought I should give you a, a look at it. Thanks very much for watching.